Are you a man who's previously had sex with a woman? Well, I've got some news for you. You might want to sit down for this. You're gay. Yeah. This is according to Nick Fuentes, white nationalist who claimed that it's literally gay to have sex with women. And the only way to be a straight alpha is to be an asexual incel. And he's going to explain this in the following clip. People calling me gay because I've never had a girlfriend. I think if anything, if anything, it makes me less gay. If anything, it makes me not gay. <laughs> As opposed to less gay. Not that there's any gay, but it makes me not gay. Well, because think about it this way. You know, a gay person, gay people do date girls all the time. Real. And when I said on Elijah Schaefer's show, when they said, have you ever been in a romantic relationship? Have you ever had sex with a girl? And I said, no. If you name searched me on Twitter, as I always do, all these gay people are coming out and saying, I've had more girlfriends than Nick. I've, I've had sex with more girls than Nick. So like I said last week, not only is, not only is that thinking flawed, but actually it's the reverse. That actually makes me really more heterosexual than anybody. If, if we're being, if we're really being honest, never having a girlfriend, never having sex with a woman really makes you more heterosexual because honestly dating women is gay having sex with women is gay and having sex with men is gay and and you know it's really it's all gay. and if you want to know the truth the only really straight heterosexual position is to be in a incel so it's all there is being MGTOW, a sexual incel, is really the straightest position that you can have. Ha sex in itself is gay, I think. I think that uh, it's really a gay act. With. Think about it, this is gayer than like, I need cuddles. This is all I need. I need the... It's, it's all very, it's all very sus. I need to spend time with a That's a little sauce. A little bit sauce. So I think, I think, really, I'm like, you know, the straightest guy. That yeah, don't think so. Now, I honestly don't know if he's being serious here. I, I think that maybe he's being half serious, partially facetious, but he he laughs, and that leads me to believe that he at least acknowledges that what he's saying will be perceived as insane to most reasonable people, if not everyone, even unreasonable people. But, I mean, there's part of me that thinks that because he's a committed incel, and if you're part of his America First movement, you also have to be a committed incel. So, in a way, he's trying to... I don't know, make, make himself feel better by ascribing meaning to his inability to get laid, trying to create some sort of a pseudo ideology around him being an incel. I'm not necessarily sure, but at least he kind of believes this at a minimum, right? If he believes this, then we're seeing cognitive dissonance. But either way, I mean, this is just, it's bizarre. It's stupid to say something like this. It's genuinely idiotic to say something like that. Because no, having sex with a woman, if you are a man, is quite literally the opposite of being gay. But what's interesting is that by his own standards, um, he's gay. Because he previously admitted in a podcast appearance on The Blaze that he is fully intending to one day engage with gay sex with a woman. Take a look. Yeah, I want to get married. But more out of necessity of like having producing a male heir is really the the whole point. So I'm not sure if he's aware of this, but in order to have a child, you actually have to have gay sex with a woman, Nick. So how are you going to pull that off? I don't know if he's going to use a turkey baster, but I, I mean, you can't have a kid unless you have sex with a woman if you're planning on conceiving naturally. Now, perhaps he'll be married and then opt for adoption, uh, opt for, you know, um, in vitro fertilization I, I i don't even know like this is honestly so idiotic that to even try to dissect it it makes me lose brain cells but the more that i think about this the more i'm convinced that 
he's absolutely serious because again being a committed incel is crucial to the america first movement and this raw story headline illustrates the importance of being an incel quote white nationalist america first group plunges into chaos after high-ranking official gets a girlfriend yeah now, now the article goes on to explain the america first movement has plunged into turmoil after its treasurer started a romantic relationship and moved out of the group leader's basement, white nationalist Nick Fuentes, the right-wing group's leader and associate of representatives Paul Gosar and Marjorie Taylor Greene, urges his followers to abstain from sex, and he describes himself as an incel or involuntarily celibate. This led to the nonprofit group's treasurer, Jaden McNeil, to resign and call America First a cult, reported the Daily Beast's Fever Dreams podcast. Members act so racist and ridiculous in public that it ruins people's lives, said co-host Kelly Wayne on the podcast. You can't go and get a normal job after that. So they turn further and further into this movement, which really does function almost like a cult. And that really does make sense. I hadn't previously thought of it as a cult, but that absolutely makes sense. I mean, if you have ruined your life because you basically came out as a proud racist, then who wants to associate with you? So of course, your only option is to get further entrenched with this cult and double down and triple down. And, and so it's just, it's weird. Um, it's, it's very weird. The more that I learn about this movement or whatever you want to call it. Um, but if you're wondering why Nick Fuentes is an incel, he claims that he is celibate on purpose. So I guess that would make him a vol cell, right? But either way, if you're wondering why he's an incel, well, it's because he believes that women should be second class citizens and they should have um, as much rights as the Taliban permits women to have in Afghanistan. This is literally something that he said in public in a podcast appearance with uh, The Blaze. So let's watch. If I'm understanding your question correctly, if you don't want them to vote or drive or are have an existence akin to what they would have in, say, Saudi Arabia, you would say that in large part, then they don't really have rights. Well, I would say probably the ideal is something more like Afghanistan, if I'm being totally honest. Like re and, recent, so what, what's the recent difference between Afghanistan, Afghanistan <laughs> then and Saudi Arabia? Like the brutality, I guess. It's like a little <laughs> slightly more brutal. Of course, Taliban rule, not not American rule. I'm talking about, you know, recent, recent so Afghanistan. So you want women to have the same treatment as women have under Taliban rule in Afghanistan. Something approximating that, okay. yeah. Gee, I wonder why it's so hard for him to get laid. It's because of things like this. You're broadcasting to women that you think that they should be subjugated to second-class citizenship status. Why would they want to be with you if you think that they are literally inferior to you? Who would want to be with someone like that who inherently disrespects them? Nobody would. So you being an incel is of your own making. And because he is unable to get laid, he forces everyone else in his cult to also be celibate. It's just, it's so ridiculous. Now, he referenced uh, the appearance on The Blaze that we just watched where everyone made fun of him. And they were making fun of him because he didn't have a girlfriend. Uh, but that's not what... They actually were making fun of him for he claims that it was because he doesn't have a girlfriend but it was because the interview was so awkward because he goes on to describe how you know women shouldn't have rights and then the host asks him and this is a conservative woman by the way she asks him you know if you've never been with a woman then why who are you to say this you know if you don't have experience with a with a woman who are you to say that they should live a certain way. And his response here is incredibly cringeworthy and it went viral because of how awkward it was. You also promote like the way of interacting with women and I go, have you been in a relationship with a woman? No. So how are you telling other people how to behave towards women when you yourself have not had any actual physical, you know, interaction with them in a romantic capacity or in fact in any capacity where you, you know, uphold them in a way that treats them with respect. I mean, if, if you're out here arguing that women are basically half the value of, well, you know, I'm not going to put words in your mouth, in fact, because that's not right. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you are looking to some other regimes around the world that do think that women are half the value of a man, I have to question what kind of a person who's had no experience with women is in a position to, to you know, basically promote these ideas. Well, I'm having an experience with a woman right now, <laughs> and I've had lots of experiences with women in my life, not not romantically per se, but, you know, I've, I've talked to enough women, I've been in, you know... I've known enough women to know sort of what's going on. And I think any man who is observant enough, and honestly, you know, like I said, we could go back to great geniuses. We could go back to people that have been in relationships. Like a perfect example is like the pickup artists. You know, have you ever noticed that pickup artists who have the most relationships with women and the most sex, they, what they say is that really with women, 
it's the same bag of tricks uh, to seduce a woman or whatever. And I think that kind of tells you something about the nature of women, that you know, you go from woman to woman, and it's the same kind of like little tricks, little things you could say or whatever to kind of hack them and whatever. And I think that kind of says it all about their nature. Painful, absolutely painful. So, you know, he is an incel and he's trying to intellectualize his incel status. But there's no deeper meaning to you being an incel. Women don't want to be with you, Nick, because you're a prick. You're a bad person and you think that they're inferior to you. You think that you're better than them when you're not. You're just insecure about your own sexuality and manhood. So, I mean, it's just this is so bizarre. You would think that a statement like this should get the cult members to kind of look within and think, OK, he's literally telling us that having sex with a woman is gay. That's just so absurd on its face that I can no longer participate in this cult because I don't want to be associated with that. I mean, you'd hope that the racism would turn them off. But I mean, the, him telling them, hey, now it's pretty gay to have sex with a woman so you can never get laid. I mean, what incentives are there for people to be in this cult just for a sense of community? Perhaps that's all that it is. I'm not necessarily sure, but I've got to say to think that um, it's gay to have sex with a woman if you're a man is a. Uh, not very smart, we'll put it that way. In fact, it's deeply, deeply stupid.